Okay, so I found those questions which I was searching in the last lecture and uh, we will discuss these questions. They are very interesting and very um, questions which uh, tell us something about uh, symbolizations or the requirements of symbolization, how to think about uh, these things. Now, the first one uh, is uh, Alfred slept through the class but passed. Hmm? So this is the expression which uh, came uh, that Alfred, uh, Alfred who you can also put as who slept through the class. Alfred who slept through the class but passed or Alfred slept through the class but passed. Hmm? Something like that. Alfred who slept through the class and passed because but can also be turned as and so you can have an expression like that. Now first thing first you need to understand that it is the uh, it is two propositions first Alfred slept through the class right that Alfred found the classes boring might have been like I've been teaching so he found the classes boring so he was always sleeping in the class so Alfred slept through the class and Q that uh, Alfred passed so this is another thing that Alfred passed <clears throat> the course or something whatever so Alfred passed so this is the second expression so it is nothing but a conjunction so even if you see that there was no conventional things even if there was a but but usually people do not uh, pick these things up and uh, this ex this, the symbolization of this is basically a conjunction that Alfred slept through the class and Alfred passed. So that understanding could be written in English in this fashion. Now, close to this understanding, there was another question which we took, say, a few years back. Right. So uh, this is it. Like uh, you can uh, you uh, name a movie which uh, was released in 2019 and it was a big hit. Huh? Which movie was in 2019 a big hit? Uh, or uh, maybe we will call a movie um, from... Um, okay, say if, if, we, if we put as this, that DDLJ is a Bollywood movie released in 1994 fine suppose I do not know exactly whether it was in 1994 or it was in 1993 and uh, so on but let me call it like DDLJ is a Bollywood movie uh, Bollywood movie released in to uh, released in 1994 or maybe it was released in 1995 suppose if it was released in 1995 so it becomes a true statement as well right if it was if i write is as 1994 so it's a false statement but still we can symbolize it but okay so i make it as 1995 maybe now it has become a true statement now how to symbolize it now if you see this uh, statement is basically having two parts First, DDLJ is a Bollywood movie. And second is DDLJ released in 1995. So both these things need to be there in your mind or both these things have to be picked properly. Because if you are missing out on anything, then it is going to be because this 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 statement is p dot q. Huh? If you consider this as p and this as q, then the symbolization is going to be p dot q. But if you miss on any one of them, then uh, it may not be the right symbolization, and for that a teacher may 
give you no marks at all or can go for partial marking because if you miss anything whether if you miss a negation in a question or if you miss a conjunction in a question or if you say that I took this as a simple proposition you can take anything as a simple proposition but it has to be a simple proposition as well right so you should understand that if something can be broken further you need to break it further till the time you cannot break it further it becomes a simple proposition or else it can further be broken to a simple proposition right so this understanding has to be clear in your mind <clears throat> okay let us take another question the next question is also a good question uh, the question goes like this the needle of an ammeter the needle of an ammeter will deflect hmm? will deflect on unless the battery is dead Now, how to understand this proposition? I gave you very clear instructions when I was teaching you uh, symbolizations that whenever you feel that there is an unless, where whenever you find that there is an unless, you always need to put an or function. But irrespective of this, I have found students, I, 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 it is also true for me, that we somehow feel like that it is basically an implication and we need to symbolize it uh, in an implication way so if you see the needle of an ammeter will deflect if 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 i consider this as p and the battery is dead uh, dead dead is q suppose so the symbolization is p wedge q nothing but p wedge q however you can also symbolize it like negation of p implies q both are equivalent expressions right as i told you that usually with an unless you will always feel like that there is an implication or this is what we feel like that there should be an implication or uh, there is an implication which has been uh, given to us but actually and since you right now it was a simple case so you can put the negation over here what it says that the needle that it is not the case that the needle of an ammeter will deflect uh, or if I write it like this it is not the case that if it is not the case that if the needle of an ammeter will deflect then the battery is dead so you can see that this expression becomes a little bit difficult to understand on the contrary this is a this is nothing but a wedge understanding so unless is like uh, a or function a an inclusive or function which we can use to symbolize so this was another thing which i wanted to bring now let us come to another question uh, we have talked about necessary condition we have also talked about sufficient condition now suppose somebody gives you a question like this that uh, uh, Varun wins the election exactly on the condition exactly on the condition that he campaigns right now people might find it difficult to understand what is exactly on the condition is exactly on the condition uh, a necessary condition or is exactly on the condition a sufficient condition what kind of condition is this so given this we or you may find it a little bit difficult to solve these type of questions as well but to tell you the truth exactly on the condition is nothing but a 
by conditional proposition or we can say an equivalent proposition so varun wins the election if i put it as q and uh, uh, on the condition that varun campaigns if i put it as c so the symbolization is q triple bar c so this was it this is a very simple uh, question however people can be a little bit confused with this okay now let us come to another question for uh, today or for this lecture and we can take it from here mm, the question is that uh, just in case now this expression also is something which i have not explained just in case alfred stands for office alfred stands for office he he is elected okay so again another new expression has come just in case we do not know what is just in case again just in case is nothing but an triple bar so alfred stands for the office if i take this as q p and this alfred is elected as q so it is nothing but p triple bar q even if just in case is uh, in the front of a sentence it can be a prefix uh, it can also come in the middle of the sentence or middle of the proposition as well but it will not make any difference it will only tell us that it is a equivalent expression so if uh, this alfred stands for the office it means that he will be also elected triple bar and if he is elected it also means that he uh, uh, stood for the office so given that understanding it was uh, this 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 expression of just in case is also a triple bar uh, understanding now okay so these were few basic examples with which i wanted to start with and give you an idea because uh, in the um, symbolization part of the lectures i told you about what uh, is truth table and how these symbolization markers are uh, checked or found and those symbolization markers how how we need to work them how we need to understand them and how we will be symbolizing them so more or less this implication is always going to be the uh, is having the most variety but there are certain other types as well which also we need to take so when we will be meeting in the third uh, part of this lecture or third part of this uh, series uh, we will be taking more questions which will be having implication which will be having and function which will be having or functions negations as well as equivalences all of them together so that will also give us a lot of practice and as i told you that apart from this we will be having classes and in classes also we will be practicing a lot with questions so you will have a very good uh, practice set so these two uh, lectures i kept it shorter like say around 20 minutes duration and the next lecture where we will be doing a lot of questions will be a little bit longer say maybe around 40 minutes duration so thank you very much for watching